So during the Civil War, and in the years leading up to the war, Southern Baptists were burning Charles Spurgeon's sermons. Uh, and they were not only burning Spurgeon's sermons, they were attempting to assassinate his character. They were trying to ruin his reputation. Uh, they even published death threats, saying that if he ever came to America, may a stout cord find its way around his eloquent throat. And they were doing this because Spurgeon stood against slavery. He was an abolitionist. One minister from Alabama even traveled to London and warned Spurgeon not to come to America or else we would have killed him. And so in the midst of all of this mayhem, Charles Spurgeon was planning on publishing a handful of notebooks containing the earliest sermons from his ministry. Unfortunately, uh, he, he was too busy, his life was gridlocked, and his dream never materialized. Uh, until now. In 2011, I stumbled across these, uh, these notebooks of sermons in London, and my first instinct was to fulfill Charles Spurgeon's wish to have them published. Over the past seven years, this dream uh, has come true in the upcoming publication of 12 volumes of sermons that include full color pictures of all of Spurgeon's handwritten pages, among other features. And how poetic, how symmetrical and redemptive that Spurgeon's dream is being fulfilled not by a British publisher, but by Americans. And not only by Americans, but Southern Americans. And not only Southern Americans, but Southern Baptist Americans, with all the baggage of our beginnings.